last show. <laughs> no, We're really broken up. No, this is my last attack of the show. Thank you guys for being here. Everybody in the studio. The team, uh, the team gave me the most half-assed slow clap this morning. It just slowly trickled <laughs> into the cubes and brought me to sobbing gator tears. Yeah. And uh, they showered for me today. Thank you guys. Yeah. I got ties on. Everyone dressed up. Yeah, they're all dressed it's up. so nice. Even, even Grandpa Jerry's dressed up. Thank you guys. <laughs> Um, we got an hour and change to hang out, so thank you for being here. I'm Kevin Pereira, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Candace Bailey. Candace Bailey! Thanks. But this is about you, Kevin Pereira. For once. For once, for my once. butt. Um, uh, I've been rapidly uh, trying to escape this moment all month long. I've just been running from it emotionally. Yeah. Uh, if you follow my Twitter, you know I was tweeting out Jay-Z lyrics at like 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> Were you really? When I should have been sleeping. Hold up. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but uh, I do want to say one thing real quick before I, I just mutate into a ball of, of crying. Yeah. Um, I want to say something to the fans really quick. Hey, guys, it's I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm late. <laughs> Hey, Paul Sheer, yeah. everybody. What's going on? Hi, how thank are you? you? Thanks for coming on. Oh, yeah, Paul my Sheer. pleasure, yeah. Uh, I guess uh, I didn't know you were going to be here. Uh, thank you. What, what brings you here? Oh, actually, it's uh, funny you should ask. I was browsing around on entertainmentcareers.net, <laughs> and I saw a listing for a cable television host position at G4. Oh. So, boom, here I am. <laughs> okay. yeah. I don't know if that was... Um, I don't really know if that was my, I don't know when the start date was. I'm still here. This is my goodbye. Yeah, we're saying goodbye so, to Kevin today. Yeah. So. Well, cool. Well, I'll say goodbye to you right now. Get out of here, man. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, this is, this is my last you know, show, let's, Paul. Let's right. just try and get through this together, okay? No, like not together. Right. There's you no together. together. You just go hang out over there. Yes, okay. please. We'll get through the Perfect. Show. Yeah, Thank this you. is great. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Watch the master. That's okay. what I do. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That was very, very, very kind of Paul to be here, but I, I would like to host the show. Of course. All right, let's do this. And a very special ATN, we're showing Kevin's all-time favorite videos. Yes, yes. Uh, correction, we're going to show my favorite videos that actually cleared standards and practices. <laughs> very two, different. Two very different sets of videos. Yes. So for one last time, Miss Bailey, let's go around the net. Let's do it. For the record, what you didn't see was Candace. Let's go around the net. The moment the graphic came on, she goes, I, I did, I did the not. The moment I, it came I, on. I let go, and he said, oh, you don't want to hold my hand anymore? I said, I don't want to cry again. Oh, okay? it's so what the viewers want. <laughs> it's a very specific fetish, but they love it. <laughs> um, let's get into my favorite videos. In 2004, a film, Downfall, starring Bruno Gantz, came out. It was a, a very chilling depiction of the final days of Hitler's reign. I guess. I never saw the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Did anybody see it? No. No. But a few years ago, people all over the internet started remixing clips from the film. They added in subtitles. The production company got all antsy in their pants. He started suing the entire internet. It became a war. And that's why it's such a big deal that we're able to show this particular remix to you today. Steiner konnte nicht genügend Kräfte für einen Angriff massieren. Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Es bleiben im Raum Keitel, Jodel, Krebs und Butter. Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steigers war ein Befehl! Versicht sie, dass wir Spaden, die sein Befehl durchsetzen! 
Ich kann nicht zulassen, dass die Soldaten, die für Sie verbringen... Ist Feiglinge! Verräter! Versager! Mein Führer, was Sie da sagen, ist ungeheuerlich. Die Generalität ist das Geschmeiß des deutschen Volkes! People, oh, a Hitler clip. Listen, yeah, he wasn't that great at planning, but he did a lot of stuff. Whoa. The man was motivated. Whoa, whoa, he whoa, whoa. That is a type of insensitive comment that will not fly on my attack of the show. Oh, no, your, yeah. your attack of the show. That's right. You know, if I was doing this, I would try a little bit of a different tactic. Oh, you, oh, you got jokes. <laughs> yeah, okay. something okay. like, uh, Please. I do not see the humor in that clip. Oh. Do not see. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pun. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank, thank you. You, you can oh. tune in every weeknight at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain. Okay, okay, we get it, Paul. No, 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 thank not that. 4 p.m. Pacific. <laughs> now I'm done. What about Alaska and Hawaii? I don't know what you... Those states can go to hell. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Can we kill this mic? Me? No? Next up, a selection. Uh, it's really one of my favorite redubs of all time. It's the great Fensler films. Oh. Fensler films was the work of a madman genius living in Chicago. He started redubbing old G.I. Joe cartoons with the nonsense in the early days of online video. Uh, I fell in love with these the moment I saw them. Here's one of the best. It's the first I saw. It's a tale of fire safety and sandwiches. <laughs> you know I cook Yeah, you. Uh, uh. Pork chop sandwiches. <laughs> Go <laughs> get the out of here, sir. What are you doing? Go, bitch. Get the out of here, you stupid idiot. <laughs> We're all dead. Get the out. <laughs> My God, did that smell good. Detect it. There's no going in. You tell me do things. I done running. <laughs> So good. <laughs> you know, as a wise Hasbro executive once said, knowing is half the battle. But I would like to add that getting a licensed toy cartoon character to say body massage, yeah. that's winning the war. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. The Was that seriously? Is that all you got? I mean, that's <laughs> no, no. it. This is your last day. That's yes, it. You're going to body massage. Come on. It's, Here's a real Okay, you know, I'm Jojo. really starting to regret this decision. Yeah, I think too. you're going to like this G.I. Joe joke, though, guys. It's going to be pretty good. Because what happens when Cobra operatives stay out in the sun too long? I don't care. What? What? They get a Zartan. Oh! Thank you. They also, uh, they also get skin cancer. That's the sadder part of it. Attack of the show 3.0, baby. Boom shakalaka. People say that, right? Yeah, an NBA yeah. jam yeah. in the 90s. Boom, it's nailed really, it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Make it your own, Paul. Let's Thank go you. Over here, yeah, yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> Again, staying over there would be awesome. Thank you, Paul. Okay, look, you don't have to be Irish to celebrate my next favorite video, and you definitely don't have to be sober. Here's the Internet's favorite St. Patty celebration, courtesy of NBC News in Mobile, Alabama. Well, yeah! The men look like a leprechaun to me. All you gotta do is look up in the tree. Who else in the leprechaun say yeah? yeah. yeah. This amateur sketch resembles what many of you say the leprechaun looks like, Others find it hard to believe and have come up with their own theories and explanations. It could be a crackhead who got hold to the wrong stuff. This guy helping to direct traffic says he's prepared for his encounter with the leprechaun. This is a special leprechaun flute which has been passed down from thousands of years ago from my great great grandfather who was Irish. I just came to help out. Others just came to get lucky in hopes a pot of gold may be buried under this tree. I'm gonna run a backhoe and uproot that tree. I want to know where to go. Like, I want to go. Where to go there? Oh, it's so good. Where to go there? <laughs> <laughs> When I, when I play Diablo with my friends on Skype, every time I hit a barrel or chest, I shout, where to go that? And it <laughs> annoys them to no end. It's my favorite thing to do. Oh, Diablo? But, uh, yes. What yeah. is this? Come on, this is amateur oh. hour? Oh. Why don't you try a real man's game? Oh, a real, what's, yeah. what is a real man's game, Paul? Boggle. I love Boggle. Isn't it great? Oh I love it. Like, words, words, words. It's like, it's words, so words, words. It's like, oh, yeah, it's obviously it a real yeah. man's yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thank you. Yeah. So yeah. Good. I'm a man. OK, yes, you are. Yes, you are, Paul. I do Please, love Boggle. Don't encourage him. Oh, but I do love it. Stop talking about I'm sorry. Baby words. Babies. Hey, if, <laughs> if there's one video that has provided me with unending joy over the years, it's this last one. It truly, oh, truly so is my favorite. Good. It shouldn't be, but it is. 
This legendary news report from Atlanta, Georgia's My Fox 5 turned some soft news into a hard landing. One final time, <laughs> please join me for the web classic known only as Grapefall. It's a lot of fun, a whole day. Stop! Oh! 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 Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I think she's actually hurt. No, though. I think she is. The video is amazing. <laughs> it's it's just two fetishes in one. <laughs> It's just, what? Uh, oh. I think it's actually like six fetishes in one. Okay. okay. Do we even want to know what they are? No. Oh, yeah, you do. We do. Feet, crushing things. Okay. Ladies in shorts. Ladies getting hurt. Okay. Seal noises <laughs> and vineyards. Okay. Thank, uh, <laughs> Right? Yeah, no, I everyone. really, really appreciate being here. I, it's my last show, though. I'd love if we could just end this and I could just. You want to go now? Yes. I could do it right here. That's fine. <laughs> Take no, off. No, get out of here okay. early. Okay. Look, look, look. You're done. I'm coming in. I'm taking the show to the next level. Hey, Nick. We have great oh. chemistry. You guys do E3. No, you guys are great. I'm going to do E4. Oh. E4. Oh, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. You can get to the next level. Yeah. Wait, what's going on here? I feel no, like there's no, something very suspicious going on. Thank you. <laughs> you guys can check out Paul Shear's podcast. What's the name of the podcast, Paul? How Did This Get Made? Thank you. How Did This Get Made? <laughs> it's all he that's lives. left of him now. <laughs> Still ahead, Joe Rogan will be here live. OMG! There, there he is. But that's not live. There, there I am. But he will be live. I'm alive. That was at Christmas time. <laughs> Christmas tree in the background. <laughs>
The desert's the driest thing here, let me tell you that. That there was air helmet. Oh, I see what you're doing there. I got it. It's gonna hurt. You ready? Okay. Set them to swoop. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Great. What a party. A lot of plaid in that montage. A whole lot of plaid. Now, of course, this is the end of an era, and yeah. now we have a corporate promo. Oh, good, good, and good. since it's your last day, let us take it for yeah. you. No, 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 you guys. If, if, let me do it. Are you sure? I mean, like, it's my last chance to be the, the sort of mouthpiece of the network, if you will. So, if that's okay, can I? Yeah. You guys, do you guys mind? Is that... Okay, good. <clears throat> Folks, the biggest gaming event of the year is almost here! of E3. Who doesn't love that? Thank you, thank you. That's, there we go. What does that mean? That means we're the only network allowed to broadcast from the floor of E3. Oh, please, please. So you can take that every other network. Listen, we're gonna have world premieres and exclusives from Assassin's Creed 3. We'll also get our hands on the Wii U. And many, many more. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, Mom. Oh, this is cute. Hey, on, buddy. Mm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You want more? Well, guess what? There is more. Like breaking news. And we'll get our hands on game demos and chat with the biggest names in gaming. Excuse me, guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, clear! 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 <laughs> There's another viewer, make sure you tune in. You too, buddy. <laughs> hey, not to mention, commercial free press events. You see, E3 2012 is a live week-long TV event that starts Monday at three. And where is it? Well, of course, it's only on G4, silly. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Sparta! <laughs> you like that? Of course you do. And that's why we've got plenty more. Don't we, buddy? Don't we? Want a little fist bump? Okay, don't eat my face. Don't eat my face. <laughs> if you like what you see here, well, then you gotta check out the URL for more info. Why is that? Because it's online, everybody. It's G4, it's E3. It happens once a year, and it is your damn duty to tune in and love it, because that is the American way. That is the American way. Still ahead! <laughs> There's a kangaroo in the studio. Oh Joe Rogan will be here live! He is going to fight the kangaroo! <laughs> they are going to battle toe to toe when we get back. <laughs> Listen, if I have to say goodbye, I am truly honored that, that this fine gentleman is my final interview. Please welcome back to the show, Joe Rogan, everybody. Hey. Yeah. How are you? Good, what's up, what's going on? Oh, not much, just signing off in a couple minutes. This is it, huh? This, is, this kept me up more than anything else last night. I mean, Doing this from, show? from sleep, not. Um, yeah, I was <laughs> filled with anxiety over like, well, what am I, you know, because. You know, you have been such an inspiration to me with your career, and you really showed that you can be who That's you ridiculous. are. No, it, it's yes, it is, but it's true. Um, <laughs> Thank you, you, though. Because I've always, I've always maintained that, you know, if uh, if being who I am, openly and honestly, gets in the way of me having a job, then it's not the right job for me. But thinking that and saying that and actually living that are two very different things. And and you showed me that you can do that. You are so open and so honest, and you're unabashedly, unapologetically who you are, and people love you for it. Uh, That's not yeah. a question, by the way. Yeah, this no. is a terrible interview already. <laughs> I just wanted to. I just wanted to know. Are, are I you pulled it off. Madison? I got lucky. Don't. It might not work for you. It probably won't. <laughs> not, not much has yet. I, I would never offer it as advice, but uh, it's the only way I knew how to do it. Right. Yeah. I mean, what, was there a period where that wasn't the way you were? Like you were. You know, there was a facade. You were putting on a bit of a show so that you could get jobs. Or that no. You luckily, um, I never wanted to be anything other than a stand-up comic. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I always had that, and sort of everything else was just sort of 
of a side job. So right. acting was just a goof, and sure. then you know it paid Feeding a lot of money. To that was a goof as well. That was just for fun. Yeah, it was all like stuff that I really didn't mind if it went away because I was always a comedian. So sure. I never, I, I never treated it like it was the holy grail or like said, oh wow, I'm here now. I have to protect this and let me guard my image and hire a publicist and watch everything I say. Right. I just. I didn't really worry about and it. And you don't think, because I wonder if that image gets in the way sometimes. Because when you're coming on, everybody's like, oh man, what do you, you got Joe Rogan coming on? Is he gonna come out, bless you, Candace. Is he gonna come on out with like a, is he gonna come out with like a, a six foot tall vaporizer and you guys are just gonna rip and get going? And I'm like, no, we're gonna snort bath salts and gnaw on each other's faces. That's yeah. what you do. That bath salt's not good, huh? It's wild, right? Is that what right? happens? Yeah. You heard about that. I did hear about that. What do you, now, I, I, I hear about that and I go, okay, clearly I am not, I am not for the gnawing of faces. I'm against right. that, believe it or not, I'm not for that. But then when I hear the regulators clamp down and say, okay, but now we're going to try to ban anything and everything known to man, there's gonna be such an overcorrection, I think the war on drugs is just gonna get another uptick. Well, the real issue is the fact that they can take a drug and just add a molecule to it right. and that drug is no longer illegal. Right. And so a really dangerous drug like crystal meth, you add a molecule to it and you can sell it at a corner Adorable store. Adorable meth. Now yeah. it's just so pretty, <laughs> a little carbon, a little hydrogen. Yeah, it's a little weird, um, but you know, there's a lot more dangerous drugs out there that are legal. You know, so they, they need to concentrate on the prescription drugs that are getting mm. into high schools and kids are snorting on a regular basis now. That's the real dangerous stuff. But instead, they don't go after that because the pharmaceutical companies have the politicians in their back pocket. Right. So what do they go after? They go after pot. Something that's never killed anybody ever. It's it's we're living a stupid world. We live in a Coen <laughs> Brothers movie. We really yeah. do. Do you think you know we've had the, and we've had the conversation a handful of times? But do you think this will be a year of change? Do you think Obama will make good on his promises to not have any federal enforcement of drug laws or? No, no, I don't. I don't buy that at all. I think because of the internet, change is inevitable. It, but it will be kicking and screaming. It mm -hmm. won't. It, it won't be willing, and it won't be anything where they make concessions to the people, and then they, everyone rejoices in the street because finally the, the dark hand of oppression has gone away, and and the government is actually looking out for the folks now and actually representing the people. Right. You know, corruption is very, very difficult to stop once it's in place and is moving and it has momentum, and it's pretty obvious this government is corrupt. And it, it, there's no no changing that. The only way to change it is like meteors, alien attack, something along those lines. You're praying something for those big. aliens to come down. I've I'm seen praying. your DVR, and it's nothing but ancient <laughs> aliens. That's all it is. It's that and, and Mars attacks. You love and anything with an alien. Bigfoot in it. shows. Yeah. yeah. There's a few cooking shows. You think in there you too. think they're real? You think they're gonna land pretty soon? No, no. They're probably already here. They're probably trees and you know clouds. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, if you can come from another planet, why would you be in a stupid metal ship? You know, you, you have the technology. Technology to come here from other galaxies. I don't. I don't think you have to be in a ship. I you mean, choose where an you, Aspen Pine instead. Yeah, you, can, you could be like an air freshener in someone's car, <laughs> you know? just dangling from a rear view. Well, you know, we're already working on things that clone that that cloak people in combat. Mm -hmm. We're already working on things that show an image of the person of what's behind the person instead of the you know. Sure. Where yeah, you a little wear, camera uh, that yeah. projects the imagery. So and it looks it's like on your head. clothes. You know, yeah. the the Japanese have already perfected something. Of course, along the those Japanese lines. did it. Yeah. A stalking game is going to go crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I just think if there are aliens, why would they, you know, come in big stupid right. ships and and be so obvious? I just think I think it's going to be way creepier than that. Maybe their maybe their home planet is really into the pageantry of things. I think more likely they they enter through the internet and they their ideas. Oh, they, that's very lawnmower man. Yeah. And when all the phones yeah. start ringing at the same time, that means the aliens have attacked. Yeah, I think it's more likely a sentient intelligence enters through the internet. Mm. You know, that's that's more likely. I just think I, alien life is going to be so bizarre. It's going to be way more alien than we're thinking with we're thinking carbon-based life forms oh, sure. big heads you know things that look like us we're so uncreative when it comes to conjuring up ideas of aliens they're of all life. like big yeah. yeah big headed sketch things if you go deep sea diving uh, not that I have but Cameron has the stuff you see down there is way more bizarre than anything than any art directors created yeah it's it's really right up there with like Ridley Scott movies mm -hmm. right yeah I love that I'm, I realize in this moment how much I'm going to miss this program because we just leapt from confetti cannons and a kangaroo with boxing gloves on to discussing <laughs> ancient aliens and the form they're going to be in. And I, I just sort of realized like, that this is, this is my last attack interview. Uh, and I, 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 one moment that I've always been impressed, not just one moment, but a series of moments, whenever you're in the ring uh, for UFC, I think you're a, a brilliant announcer and a, a, a brilliant host. But when Thank you're in the you. ring and someone is going out, like when a Brock Lesnar, this is his last moment in the ring and he's reduced to tears, he's a juggernaut, and he's saying goodbye and he's, you know, he's putting up the towel. What goes through your head? Do you realize in that moment, the next three sentences I say to this Titan, 
these are the last he's going to hear in the ring. This is his highlight reel forever. This is him going away. Do you think that? Like, does the gravity of that moment hit you in that way? I, I never try to think. I just try to do it justice. I just try to, you know, say, I just try to think of what it really is to me. It's, an, it's always an honor to be there. It's an honor to, to represent the sport in that way. So I just... Uh, to do my best to be honest about mm -hmm. the situation. I don't, you know, I think if you, you can really get paralysis by analysis, if you sit around and just think, what does this all mean? Like, what is the <laughs> impact of what I'm going to say? Right. How long is it going to be around? Oh, it's going to you be know? on YouTube. They're going to tweet, retweet, yeah. and Facebook, no, uh, yeah, they're not going to MySpace. Yeah. No one does that. But yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to do this uh, this moment, that same service. Uh, you truly have been an inspiration. Uh, you gave Thank me you the, the guts to Thank sort of you. chase after everything that I want to do. So I uh, personally appreciate it and professionally admire you. Thank you. Thank you. Together. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Joe Rogan, everybody. Well, let's plug something. Where can they see you? What can they do? Joe Rogan. Uh, follow me on Twitter. That's it. Follow Joe on Twitter. Joe You'll Rogan. Find him. But now, over to the lovely ladies. Stella Head, some of AOTS's favorite guest hosts, will be here to reflect on their time with Kevin. Yeah, he's gonna cry. I hope. Stick around. You hope? Yeah, I wanna see him cry. And now, for my last time ever, here's the news with Sarah Underwood. Mm. Do you have any last requests? Can cry. I? Cry for me. Cry? I'll be crying, trust me. But maybe not right now. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, work an F-bomb into the feed. That'd be sweet. <laughs> I still want to have a job here. Okay, so, fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's start the feed. All the news you need to know. The feed. May 31st, and here is some food for thought. If you were thinking about quitting your job today, you might want to think twice, especially if you live in the state of California. As the economy remains stagnant, five states, Florida, Georgia, North and South Carolina, and California are seeing a lot more workers in line at the unemployment office than others. In some areas, the number of jobless is as high as one in five. But here's some good news. Some industries are bouncing back if you're looking for a new career path. <coughs> Kevin, <coughs> excuse me. For instance, worried your lungs are a little too healthy? Well, mining is up 12% in the US in the last year. Okay, uh, okay all right, well, yeah, for something you. more luxurious yeah, where you can, you can get some exercise and sun and get paid. Yeah, yeah? That great. there's always, there's construction. Yeah, people will always need new houses. Well, if Why they're... is my coworker crying? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that'll, that'll work. I mean, yeah, as long as there isn't another housing bus, I guess. So I get it. I really appreciate it, Sarah. Thank you. You know what? Maybe you wanna maybe you wanna tap your inner entrepreneur. Yeah. You're sure. Well, lucky for you, franchising is making a comeback. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Who doesn't want to own their own Taco Bell <laughs> slash Pizza Hut right. slash gas station? Yes, quite the combo. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good luck out there, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sarah Underwood. You have just been fed. And now back to Candace and um, what, what's his name? What's his name? Thank you, Sarah oh. Underwood. Yeah. The best news lady Thank ever. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate it. Thank you. And a special treat for you. Hooray. I'm at yeah. what? No, we've asked some of our old guest hosts of, to reflect on the time that they spent with you. Oh, uh, when you say special treat, I not I thought like something different, not like a group of people who I owe money or favors or uh. if it's Chris Gore, then it's seven minutes in heaven. He's owed. He's owed. I was wondering why they all agreed to come in. That's why. That's why. I remember when I first did Attack of the Show with Kevin and uh, it was, you know, lightning in a bottle. And I have to say, I am so proud of all of the fun, crazy, wonderful stuff that Kevin and I got to do. But there comes a time when you have to try to make some other dreams come true. So I want to let you guys know that I will no longer be on Attack of the Show. Today will be my last day here at G4. Um, and I have uh, to say, uh, I will miss Olivia, you guys so much. Hmm? This is your goodbye to Kevin. Oh, but um, I never got to say goodbye. Yeah, but this is Kevin's last show. So I can't say goodbye? No.
Kevin Pereira's leaving Attack of the Show. Do you remember the first time you met Kevin? And I had seen Kevin before I guest hosted on Attack. I saw him on To Catch a Predator. Periura? Perrier? So I thought he was the heir to the Perrier fortune. D4 bought Tech TV, so uh, we turn on the TV to see what this network that bought us was, and all I see is Kevin Pereira in head-to-toe denim. And Kevin Pereira's mustache was a co-star of this event. His tiny little four-hair scraggly mustache. With slightly less skin and more fellas. You were like 12, and I was old enough to be your mom. And I sort of noticed this like twink walking around with all this power. He was so much more sarcastic and disgusting than what he was on TV. The first thing I think we talked about um, was an anti-rape protector that you put in your vagina. Just knows his stuff, and that was really what struck me. Who's ready for a hayride? You hit on me um, inappropriately, and I was 17. The first time I met Kevin, it was his first opportunity that he hit on me. It continued from every other time I work with him. The first time I met Kevin, I walked into his trailer and he was holding a prawn in one hand and a Portuguese penis in the other hand. Olivia! I think my, my favorite AOTS Kevin memory, Kevin leaping onto a giant exercise ball, Ouch! dropping him about four feet onto a solid concrete floor. We used to do a thing called MySpace Girl of the Week. It was the first G4 groupie I remember. And I was sort of like, look, you know, Married! But Kevin wasn't married. How'd that go for you, buddy? Twice! Nice! Ah! The funnest time I've had on set was when Candace and I did the oatmeal wrestling. Kevin came out in the little car all dressed up. And then, oh yeah, when I won, and then you took me on that horse over to that spray thing, and it was supposed to spray me in my mouth. Where's that chair? I all over my boots, Kevin, not in my Thanks for that, Kevin. Kevin chopped up a dildo through a woodcutter or whatever those things are called and put dildo pieces all over my face. Voila! Uh, my favorite memory of you is lying face down in a pool of your own saliva over my headshots. When we were playing this video game, I had the largest NES controller, he had the smallest one, and I actually beat him. It's the only time I think I've actually beaten Kevin at anything. This controller sucks! When I guest hosted, the cable station had screwed it up, and what ended up playing was Macbeth or something, and then we reenacted the entire first segment. Well met, friends! I got to murder Kevin and puke and have him lick up my own vomit. Don't blame him! We never got to dance. You never took the chance. Kevin, I love you. You've been like a brother to me for the past year and a half. Kevin, it's really been awesome working with you and I have a feeling we'll be crossing paths again in the future. As you go forth into this real world, life after attack of the show, my main advice to you is never take a job called America's Best Celebrity Ice Sculptor. Don't be afraid to keep wearing cardigans as blazers. You're an innovator, an entrepreneur, uh, and one time your dog peed all over my leg. Kevin, I think that you are one of the smartest, most talented, funniest, quickest, most brilliant people I have ever known, and I am beyond honored to have done so many years on Attack of the Show with you. And I truly cannot wait to see what you conquer next. I'm gonna miss you. Such an awesome guy, and I think I'm, I don't wanna cry. And what a lot of people don't know about Kevin is he's a sweetheart off camera. I'm gonna miss ya. Seriously, Kev, love ya. Wish y'all the best. Best of luck to you in your next adventure. Love you, man. I'll be rooting for ya. So like, what would be the best way to send you, Kevin Pereira, out with a bang? And I came up with it. I am going to jump into a giant pie again for you. Right there, okay. <sighs> it's smaller this time. Um, 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 still is fun though. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, by the way, Kevin, that MySpace chick called, and uh, apparently this is yours. Just call me. Can I submit my reel? I heard you guys were looking for a new host. We never got to dance. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
That, uh, that was very sweet. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for that. That was. <laughs> I got. I got concerned about halfway through that that I might be dead um, <laughs> with all the missing me. I'm still on Twitter. But um, thank you, everybody, for being a part of that. And there's still more, actually. Still ahead, DJ Mike Rome. Yeah! is going to stop by to pay musical tribute to me because I am the greatest there is. And because he's actually a super nice dude, and we asked him to. So there's that. Stick around, please. And thank you all. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friend and an incredibly talented gentleman, Mr. Mike Rome. Yeah! Yes, we're starting things off. So strap, strap, strap your strap, strap, strap in, snow bunnies. You sure should share your proprietary information if it could be eating through kidneys. You ready? Ready? Wait, there's more? Kid? Kid? Fun hasn't even started yet. for being such a great friend. And out of there. Thanks to Joe Rogan for being on my last show. Of course, Mike Realm as well. And, and uh, thanks I, to you. Thank, thank you, guys. It has really been, uh, it's been an honor. It really has been Aww. a wild ride. Yeah, Seriously. We love you. You guys are so much fun, I just, and it, I really appreciate it. I want to tell you, and I've told you this before, I, I truly think that you were one of the best hosts. Thank no, you, you are. I you agree. are the best okay. host on the planet. I'll you know that. that. Thank you. You make this show what it is. You make every day amazing, but seriously, you are the best person I've ever met. Like, and oh. I can't imagine coming to work at, like from here on out and not having you. Oh, God. Here. I'll be in your dressing room if you need me. You know this. <laughs> you know this. I'm here for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I'm gonna you. agree with Sarah. You're one of the quickest, smartest, like most amazing hosts I've ever met. And from day, oh damn it, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> From day one here, you've made my job so amazing, and it's going to be completely different without you, I'm sure. We'll make do. <laughs> we'll have some great hosts, but... Great hosts. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. Um, <laughs> I can't say again what a joy it's been to work with you guys, and, and of course, not just you guys, but everybody here. I. Um, I, uh, I rehearsed this a handful of times in the shower. I was, uh, you don't want the image. It was sad. I was naked. There were tears. Um, and it's all gone out the window, so I'll just say this. I started here uh, 10 years ago. I was a wee little pup, and I knew nobody in this town, and I wanted to go home immediately. 
and I was embraced by a group of such talented, passionate folks, uh, not only at G4, I wouldn't even call them viewers. We had a community, and that exists to this day, and I am blessed. It has been an honor to do this, this job for you guys. It wasn't even a job. It was truly an adventure. Uh, I have stories for a lifetime, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you all so much for this show and, and for everything else. Thank you to the studio crew. Thank you to all my friends and family here. And again, thank you so much to, to all the viewers. I appreciate the support. It's been a wild ride. And I hope to see you on the other side. Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. That's how a real man quits a show, pussy. You're welcome.